No, which one can you talk about? None of them. None of them. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, but you got, you got, you got, a, you got, a, you got to quit it non-stop. Now, let me ask you a question. So, when did you? You said you met um, Wayne Perry in prison. Right. What year was that? That was in. I want to say eighty nine, right before I came home. Eighty nine. How did you meet him? I met him through Pop, Shorty Pop. He just introduced you to him? Yeah, we was we was all we was cool. So, you know, all of us had bodies on the same unit. You know what I mean? We was on the same unit and mm-hmm. me and Pop was kicking him one day and Wayne came back from court and uh Pop was telling me about Alpo and he was telling me Poe was looking for some help. You know what I mean? And he gave me a spiel like Man, but you gotta do everything he say do. I'm like, man, you tell Pope, suck my. D-. I'm not doing shit he say do. F- him, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know him. I don't f- him. You know what I mean? So he hollered at Wayne. He was like, yeah, this my man Wayne. Wayne, let me holler at you. This Sean. So that's how me and Wayne met. We got cool because we knew the same people. So then both of us got out. So when we got out. We ended up seeing each other, and we 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 got we got you know we was alright. What you mean you was alright? We was alright. It was a mutual level of respect there. We was cool. We, like I wouldn't say that was my man's man, but we was we was cool. He didn't like you. Yeah, he he he. I mean, he. I don't know if he did. If he did, if he didn't, but he never expressed that to me. You know what I mean? I don't think he woulda. Did you like him? <laughs> that's that's the question. That was it right there. I, th- <laughs> I want to know if you if you did why. It. What, what 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 about him might have rubbed you the wrong way? Honestly, what about him that rubbed me the wrong way? Man, yeah. Wayne was cool. You know you know what I mean. Like we wasn't the best of friends, but what you was- didn't like about him? Man, stop, Sean. Just keep it real. Man. I mean, it's sometimes me. a guy living his truth. Flip. You know what I mean? Oh, living your truth, like for real. Else. Like yeah, it's gonna it's gonna go somewhere because I'm and I don't want to do this because. But Wayne exposed some, a side of me about his manhood that I don't like. The homosexual stuff? Hey, man, I, you said it, not me. That, wait, hold on. I think I was, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, whoa, whoa, so, so, I, it was something online where a, uh, a FBI agent was talking about it. Right. Right? The FBI. I saw it online. I think that I... No, I don't really rock with the guy. But it was something online where a guy, my man Lou... He sent me a clip with FBI agent. Was talking Dan about O'Reilly. Old, yeah, him. Was talking about. He it. mentioned me in that same interview. Dan O'Reilly. I, I, don't, don't hype yourself too much. No, nah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just giving you facts. You up there. Like, you up there right now. Let's bring you back down. Come down the stairs, man. You are, right now you're on, you on the 13th floor right now. Let's get down. Right. The, come back to the fifth with me, bro. All right, okay. So right, let's go. That's true. Wayne yeah. Perry indulged in homosexuality. Yeah. How you do know you I mean? know that was true, though? Because I seen it, Flip. Nah, Sean. Nah, man. Yeah, Flip. No! Yeah, Flip. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Yo! Yo, hey, Flip, oh, I, I, hey, Flip, I just gave you exclusive right now, bro. Oh, on the speaker today, bro? For real? Yeah, for real, Flip. I put that on I put that on my dead son, bro. And this is this is a part of... This is a side of Wayne that... um. That I, I I lost total respect for, you know what I mean? Like because you know, before before that was side of Wayne was exposing me. Wayne was a man's man. I had all the respect and love in the world for him, you know what I mean? But my man, 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 just came in here kind of surprised. Man, man, you got something to say, man, man? We put everybody. You are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. All right, man, man, come on, don't 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 don't, don't whisper in the hallway like you did last time, man. Say it. <laughs> I mean, I say it from the chest every time. Bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, man. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of take Ojo's, Ojo's side. So, honestly, can you tell us how you saw it? I went looking for him one day of the jail, man. You know what I mean? I come, I come back from court. No, I came back home with a visit. My bad. I come out with a visit, and I went looking for him. I had a message for him, for from Mike, Michael Jackson. And when I went looking for Slim, I went to his room. And, uh, you know, we, we, we kind of had that rapport where we walk in each other's rooms without knocking. You know what I mean? Because nobody's expecting nothing to be going on in the room, especially like that. So 
when I pulled it open, when I seen what I seen, so it, 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 it f***ed me up to a point where it, it's just, it f***ed me up about him. And I, I lost all respect for him because, um, you know, I'm a man's man and I, I don't condone that shit, don't indulge in it, don't respect it at all. So when I seen it and I said something to his co-defendant, Big Tab, Big Tab was like, man, you ain't no Wayne, dip, like, dipping that. I'm like, no, I ain't no. I don't hang with Wayne on the streets. How would I know? So when I asked him about it, I'm like, man, stay I'm like, what the f you know what he told me? Man, stay out of my business. I'm like, all right, cool. You got that, big boy. You know what I mean? Yeah, that shit me up and I, I lost all respect for him for that. But that didn't change his his character in the streets, did it? Nah, it didn't. But okay. at the same time, it, it changed it, it changed his character in my eyes. You know what I mean? Now I'm looking at you totally different. And I'm not respecting you the same. You saw it with your own eyes, though. You said you'll flip. I saw it with my own. I saw two men. I saw Wayne and another man together. Flip, I'm not going to. I'm not. One thing I'm not going to do, man, is say what I, I haven't saw. Or I'm Understood. not going to put a bone on nobody Understood. if I don't. Like, I'm not a third party spreader. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to spread never say, oh, yeah, such such told me this about Wayne. Mm. Yeah. And I know some people, man, when they see this, they're going to be. They gonna be mad. I'm gonna ruffle some feathers, but I don't give a. F you know what I mean? Like it is what it is. Like and whoever don't like it, you gotta take it up with that man. I ain't do that. He did it. Did people know in DC that he was indulging in that type man, of activities? Yeah, fact. I mean, everybody knew. Was he doing it in, when he was in, in the town as well, or it was just in prison? Like situation? I say, I I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because man, man, Slim didn't hang out every day like Understood. that. We only saw each other in, in passing, right? But you know what I mean. His co-defendant told me, like, man, you ain't know? I'm like, nah, I didn't know, bro. Like, how would I know? So Alpo now. Alpo, um, you, heard, you first heard about Alpo in prison, you said. Right. Right? And nah, then, nah, I didn't, I didn't first hear about him in prison. Pop told me about him in prison that he needed some help. But I knew, I heard about Poe through... Loot and Demisio before Poe even got here. What did they say about him? You know, they was they was telling me not to fuck with him. They like, man, there's a guy gonna come to your town now, Al Poe. Man, he hit. If he, if you ever run across him, don't fuck with him. He's a snake. He ain't to be trusted. You know what I mean? And I mm. and I learned later on that the reason why they said that is because of a situation where Al Poe was overhearing some Spanish guys talking in Spanish about some work. And Poe came back and double backed on him and, 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 and robbed him. Poe's been his friends or whatever. I don't know. Did you ever meet him, Alpo? Nah, but we um we never got a chance to get that close, you know what I mean, to each other because um and I'm pretty sure Wayne told him about me. Cause whenever I came around, Poe would get on either on his motorcycle or in his car and burn rubber. He would get the f away from me. Whenever I came around, he there was a story about him getting um, attacked in D.C. Um, why did they attack him? Were they hating on him? I'm not so sure. I, I know it's a couple incidents I heard about that um, that um, Poe got got attacked. Got dudes try to get at him. One dude was jawbreaker. Try to get at Poe and uh, Titus. Try to get at him. So them are only two incidents I heard about when somebody really tried to get at Poe. What was their reason, you think? I'm, I'm not sure. But let me ask you on this question. And I'm and this, you know, please don't take offense to this. Well, it's not offensive, but Poe, was he flashy in DC as he was in New York? Was he a flashy guy? I mean, I don't I don't know how he was in New York, right? But he um you know, Poe would come through, he got the big boy whips, he got the the cars that, you know, other hustlers in DC, they recognize this. Oh damn, that's drop the bag on that. He got the NXX, the Aqua, the the Mercedes SL convertible. You know what I mean? He got his little man, Big Hit Gary, the same car. You know, so they, you know, they flexing around the city. You know what I mean? So motherfuckers recognized him and knew that he was getting money. You know what I mean? So he, he was he was kind of flashy. You know what I mean? He had his jewelry on and go to clubs and you know do his thing. But you know what I mean? That was him. Did it mean anything to anybody? Huh? It, 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 it's obvious, like, when you say that was him, so he was flashy, basically. Yeah, he was, He was. you know, he, he was, was flashy. A, little, a little more flashy than the average, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. And, like, 
you know, when, when you, I'm pretty sure you heard his interviews and stuff as far as like when he was in prison, when he talked about the big, you knew Big Head Gary and all yeah. these people as well? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And even though Dementia told you not to mess with him, you said you never came across him. But how did you feel about him after the situation? Like, did you guys hear about the situation that happened with Dementia? Did you know it came from that direction back in the days or you learned about it later on? Nah, I, I'm glad you, 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 you brought that up, right? Cause um when Demencio got killed, I was locked up, and um I had heard bits and pieces of what happened. I didn't know that the hit came from Pope. If it came from Pope, you know what I mean. I just heard that Wayne. I just kept hearing Wayne name. So in that interview that you spoke about with the, with the FBI detective Dan O'Reilly, when he spoke about when I went to go see Wayne when he was up in Marlboro, when I went up there, I went up there and asked him about that situation with Demencio. And um he, he he threw some names out there. You know what I mean? What the what the detective said in the interview that me and Wayne discussed on a visit, that was that was false. That ain't that conversation never happened. You know what I mean? But we talked about D. And he threw some names out there about D, what happened to D. And um you know what I mean I did my own investigating. You know what I mean? To see what I could find. And, um, yeah. But the name that Alpo said, was it the name that you found out when you was in, when you came home? The name that, because Alpo talked about it, right? He talked about it in the interview that Dementia was too big for his bridges or something like that. He thought he was bigger than what he was. Right. When, <laughs> when, he, when he was asked about it. And I don't know if he said who did it, but did you find out who did it? Because I remember they were trying to blame one of Dementia's mans at the time. Because he was with Dementia or something like that. Something they, they thought that somebody did Lou. it. Or... They say they say Lou had something to do with it and Lou left him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't I don't I'm gonna say this right. I f with Lou from the heart. Like Lou like a brother to me. I still communicate with Lou right now to the day. And I don't wanna believe that about Lou because it's gonna make me look at Lou totally different. It's gonna make me feel different about him because I love D like a brother. You know what I mean? And if you knew that this was gonna happen or if you left him for dead the way they say you left him dead, I'm going to feel some kind of way about that, man. So I don't want to believe that shit, right? So when I, and I still don't, I haven't had this conversation with Lou yet. But what's the story, though, that you heard? That Lou, that, that the part that Lou might have played? I, hold on, this is allegedly. First and foremost, I don't, I'm not saying anything as far as, like, I'm just saying we saw the documentary. Right. Um, They did cut some names out. But when we talked about it with Dementio, I, I remember um, him saying that somebody was being blamed. Lou, they tried to blame Lou because Alpo, I guess, called Dementio's mom and sent flowers. And then people were saying because Lou left him. But what's the story that you heard at that time? The story I heard was that, um, you know, they, I got I got bits and pieces of it, man. Like, they sprinkled the truth or whatever. With lies. With lies, you know what I mean? So what I got was, man, that... um. Wayne did it. You know what I mean? I found I heard later that Wayne did it because Poe wanted him out the way because Demencio was getting too big for his britches in the cities, you know, as he put it. But um so when I went to like I said, when I went to go see Wayne, Wayne denied it. You know what I mean? He told me, man, it was somewhere else. You know what I mean? And the little dude that he told me that um actually did it, did it for Poe. It wasn't him, like it wasn't me. You know what I mean? It wasn't me, it was this other person. He did it because the Pope wanted, wanted him out of the way. So, um, like I say, man, I end up doing my own investigation and I end up, you know what I mean, going in for that little dude's um uh murder. So I they questioned me about that later. So that dude died. Yeah. The dude that shot Demencio, yeah. He got killed. Right. And you got questioned for it. Right. <laughs> hey, that's, 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 what he, that's, that's what he said. That's what he said, man. I don't know. Gee, 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 gee. How, she, how she gonna spin his? What, what the man said? Why did, you, why did you pull that up? Why did you pull just in, up just in case? <laughs> just, in, just in case. Gee, gee, you gotta gee. be ready, man. Uh, let's yeah. go, let's go. So, so, so. But Wayne denied it to you. Just yeah. want to make sure. So now, all right. But what I asked you earlier that you didn't get the answer for me is that. What did you hear that the role that 
What were people, because Lil Dimencio didn't really elaborate. What were people accusing Lou of doing? Like, what did they say that he do the role that he might have played in it? The accusations. Well, like I said, the only thing I heard that Lou, Lou did, man, was, um, like I said, I, I don't know if Lou knew that it was going down or not, right? And they said, man, Lou left him. Like, Lou didn't come to his aid. Lou didn't see if he was still breathing, if he needed help, try to get him help. He seen the plate, supposedly seen the plate. He, I don't know if he knew beforehand that the plate was going down. Seen the plate and left him. Just straight got out of there. Ain't go over there and see if he needed help, if he was still breathing, or none of that. You and do you mean? think that, you know, they said that the Dementio, rest in peace of Dementio, they said that the situation happened because something with a lady with Alpo or something like that, something about a lady, I'm not sure. Yeah, that and was, that's, that's what they try to spin it and say that it was about um, Poe's wife. Demencio disrespected his wife, called her a b your man, he's a b too, tell him I said it, whatever. You know what I mean? And, but I, I don't believe that, man. I know Poe tender dick that he is. I know how he is about these women. So, and I know how he fall in love easy. You know what I mean? And he want to, he want to get at my f about these women, especially these women in Washington. You know what I mean? How you gonna just call that man a tender dick? Because you, you I, listen, man, Poe fell, po <laughs> fell in love with this bro in the city named Fuzzy. Fuzzy was giving the box to everybody, bro. So I know that if you fall in love with Fuzzy, you got to be. And I don't no disrespect to Fuzzy, you know what I mean? I she cool, <laughs> you know what I mean, all that. But yeah, she she was she was promiscuous, man. She was spreading herself real thin back then, bro. And if, for Poe to fall in love with this woman, and then fall in love, he tanks baby mother, Keita. Falls in love with her, buy Keita's mother a house so they say just so they can have the basement. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, this dude, man, he don't, he, 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 something wrong with him, man. Like the dude fall in love too easy up here. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> so his encounter with women displays that he may get infatuated with them at a rapid pace. Yes. In yes. Your opinion. Yes, in my and opinion, you, and, yes. you, and you know these to be facts. I know these to be facts. But how do you know he? How can, how you know he fell in love with Miss Fuzzy? He fell in love with Fuzzy because he actually he wanted to beef with Spock is about her. He wanted to beef with my little man is about her. So is like telling people like letting know like man she's a freak. What the fuck is you fall in love with this? Or she's a freak. You know what I mean? And Poe wasn't trying to hear like man tell your little you tell guy tell your little man leave my girl alone. So I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. You got you got dudes that they easily man to fall in love with women, man. Like, and I'm talking about the <laughs> the freaky is that a freak? So in in turn, that makes him a tender dick, in your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm just trying to figure out what because then now I'm trying. I'm trying to reevaluate certain things that <laughs> yeah. that I may have been involved in. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying oh. to see what makes it a guy tender. Attended. So, so hmm. he fell in love with these women, and he wanted to beef over them. Yeah, and man, and that was crazy, man, because you know everybody in the city know, man, what was up with Fuzzy, man. You know what I mean? And for him to be like the way he was about her, you know what I mean? People was looking at him like kind of strange, like somebody need to hip poke, man. Somebody really need to pull this coattail about this bra because she ain't the one for you to be trying to beef with other dudes about falling in love with. And none of that shit, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, in my opinion, Flip, he's tender dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that word just sounds crazy. Do, do you, last question about him. How do you feel about him overall? I don't have no feelings about Pope, to be honest with you, man. Because um, I don't know him personally. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I really don't give a fuck about him personally. You know what I mean? You know, when... Him and Wayne was running around the streets of D.C. doing their thing. You know, I told Wayne to be careful. I told Wayne, you know, not to trust a dude from first-hand information that I got from my peoples up top, right? And um, Wayne chose to ignore those warnings, right? He didn't want to adhere to the signs that somebody that he's supposed to have been f***ing with and respected giving him. Like, if you my man, you tell me, look, Sean, man... Watch yourself around him. He ain't to be f with. My antenna's going up. And I'm going to always be alert. But Wayne wasn't in 
a good enough situation to back out of that situation right there and say, nah, I'm not f with the dude no more because Poe was, he was bird feeding him. He was getting him just enough to keep him satisfied, just enough to keep him around and just enough to keep him protected. So Wayne wasn't trying to leave that. Wasn't nobody f with Wayne. When Wayne was locked up, Wayne couldn't even get bail money, bro. And he was locked up on a low-level drug charge, they say, out, man. He couldn't even get bail money. It wasn't until he got with Poe. Same situation like when uh, Suge Knight got with Pop and got him out. Same thing. So when Suge Knight got Pop out of jail and Pop produced all these hits for Suge, that's the same situation, kind of like with Wayne. When, Wayne, when Poe got Wayne out, he was like, oh, yeah, this my man now. He was the only one that came to save me, so I'm going to do whatever for him and I'm going to protect him at all costs. Alpo made a smart move then. He did. He did. He made a chess play on him. You know what I mean? He made a chess play on him. You know what I mean? But Wayne wasn't smart enough then. You know, you got some pawns, right, on this board, on this chess board of life, right? 